Don't you love coming home and pulling up into the driveway and just seeing that package that's leaned up against the side of your house right there? I don't know if you can see it. It's a tube. It's a rod tube, not the trash can. It's a rod tube. It's kind of like when you go out to eat, order your food, whatever, chit chat, go to the bathroom and then come back and your food's there. It's like the most fulfilling feeling ever, the most fulfilling feeling ever. But right now I've got some Denali rods that I've been waiting on for three days because I ordered them three days ago. Super fast shipping. And I've, dude, I've got a really good deal for you. If you want to buy some Denali rods, 30% off. I've got a code. You heard it right. I can get you 30% off. That's the best deal ever. Let's unbox this tube and see what I got in there. First things first of all, as always, unhook the boat. Yeah, so I've got this new lose reel. They're strapped down, but I got this new lose reel and it's the it's it's a custom speed spool. And I found it on Lou's website. They're, they're out of a lot of reels. I'm pretty stacked up with my BB1s and my speed spools, my Super Duty. So this one is a lot smaller and it's, it's gonna be the perfect jig reel for skipping docks. I've got it on a seven foot medium heavy Denali lithium right now. And I went out for about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes skipping docks. Just not really going out to catch fish. I mean, yeah, of course I was trying. I really wanted to try out this reel. The other piece to the puzzle is in that tube right there. I've got the juice in that tube. It's a juice tube. I wanna pair this reel up with this rod that I ordered from Denali like three or four days ago. Super fast shipping. Did I say they had a 30% discount? Keep watching and I'll give it to you. You gotta watch this video and then I'll give you the discount. Deal? Shake on it. I'm gonna unhook my boat real quick, get in the garage to where it's warm, take this reel off, put it on my new rod. Me, being impatient, I'll go out and fish just to try stuff out. You know, whether it's just looking at the action of something or checking out how a reel feels or how a rod feels, not necessarily to go out and just try to figure out fish or whatever. Yes, it was super cold today. That means I'm gonna have to redo this whole video that I just shot earlier today with the right rod that I ordered for that reel. But it's all good, cause that's what I do. Grab this and we'll tote it. formal unboxing on it. Got my my youngest daughter, Emma, behind the camera. She's doing a wonderful job, wonderful job she's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up these rods real quick. And I just wanna show you exactly what I got. And like I said earlier, the video I went and shot today was pretty much supposed to go with the rod that I got today. So I didn't have the rod, but I went ahead and shot the video because I'm impatient as hell. Like I have no patience. I do have patience. Kids, my wife, stuff like that, right, Emma? Yeah, but as far as like getting new gear or wanting to try something out, I mean, it's 32 degrees today and I went out just, just to skip docks and see how this reel worked. Now I'm gonna have to do it all over because I wanna do it right, you know? And I was skipping it on a, uh, you know, I was sewing that reel on a seven foot medium heavy Denali lithium. What I've got in here, it's cheaper too. Watch yourself now. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and undo these right here. And here's a, here's a quick little tip, no charge. If you ever get rods in the mail, keep the rod tube. Because if you ever sell any rods, you won't have to find something to sh You're gonna need a rod tube. You're not gonna have to find something to ship the rods in. And rod, shipping rods ain't cheap. It's probably about 30, 35 bucks now. It used to be like 20. I've got three rods. One's a crappy rod, okay? And I was all giddy over getting this. So we'll, we'll do the crappy rod first. This is a six foot, a six footer right here. Six foot, this is gonna be, because I love dock fishing, I don't care if it's bass fishing, crappy fishing, I love fishing docks. All right, I think you can catch fish. I didn't catch any today, but I only went for an hour. Don't judge me. But I think fish are around docks all year round. No, another tip, quick tip. When you get rods in the mail, make sure you check all your guides. Make sure there's no broken spots in the rod that could affect you later while you're fishing. 
Be like, well, I don't know why it rod broke. It's brand new. Well, probably because whoever delivered it stepped on it, threw it, whatever. This is, oh, that is so sweet. This is a six foot. Hey, so this is a, oh, it's a six, six. I'm sorry. It's a six, six. This is a 6'6". Six, six. They didn't have a six-footer. They do have six-footers, but they're out of stock. This is a 6'6", six, six crappy rod. It's their Prime Series. These things are like 80 bucks or something like that. Use that code, get 30% off. I'll tell you the code at the end of the video. That's the deal. Very whippy. So this is what I'm gonna use to shoot docks with. Brandon Lester, if you're not following him on YouTube, I recommend that you follow Brandon Lester because he has some really good crappy fishing tips. He's a hell of a bass fisherman too. But he's a really good crappy fisherman, and he catches the crap out of them. He's got some really good tips on his YouTube channel. I'll throw the link up here, or maybe over here, down here. Where? Go follow him. Uh, he got me into kind of shooting docks, him and Mark Daniels Jr. He, he talked to me about it as well. But this is going to be my dock shooting rod for crappy. They're on docks right now. I don't know how to shoot docks, but you know what? We're gonna learn together because I made this channel so you could learn by my mistakes. That's right, you're welcome. Rod number one, six, six. This rod right here, I'm gonna leave this for last. Is it Christmas around here or is it just me? So this, no, I'm gonna leave this one for last. This rod right here, this is my buddy's rod. So he started throwing one of my rods uh, this is a covert, Denali covert. This is a 610 medium. This is what I throw all my square bills on, small crankbaits, mostly square bills because that's all I throw in the shallows is square bills. This is a medium. It's kind of like a medium heavy. It's got a little backbone to it. Denali covert, you can cast this thing. It, it, I'm telling you, if you get your hands on one, you're going to want one because it's the, the wind grips on it is just comfortable the rod is super light super sensitive and it's just like you can whip those little square bills around everywhere david your rods here please come get it all my cranking rods are coverts that's it they're like 160 bucks but wait there's more 30 percent off into the video keep watching next this is one i'm really looking forward to right here this is a covert as well this is a 610 spinnerbait rod Spinnerbait, as Dave Cavell says it. I'm sorry, it's a 6.9. I'm all wrapped up in my own feelings right now. I don't even know what to do. This is a 6.9 spinnerbait rod. This rod right here is going to be my dock skipping rod. And if I'd have had this rod today when I went out, I wouldn't have wasted time. I didn't waste time. You never waste time. Don't ever say that. Be lucky that you're alive. This is going to be my dock skipping rod. 6.10 with that new Lose custom speed spool. The Kush. The Kush. Somebody please roll the reggae music real quick. Spinnerbait rod, I seen this when I was ordering for the tip, Emma. Beep, 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 beep. Dude, it's, it's, it's gonna be perfect for, for skipping docks. Seven foot, I like skipping. Um, six, nine, even better, because I, I like getting like good and tight. That's German for good and tight up in those little nooks and crannies. It's kind of hard to get to when you have a seven footer, seven two, whatever. This six nine is gonna be my go-to and I'll probably end up getting another one. I'm just trying this one out. I've never used it before, but it's the covert six nine spinnerbait rod. I'm gonna give it a whirl, but so far it feels really good on the ground when you put the tip to the ground, you know what I'm saying? Tip to the ground, tip to the ground, what? Put the tip to the ground. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead right now this is my Denali lithium. This is what I was skipping with today. So I'm gonna go ahead, you know what? I'm gonna cut this jig off, this one, just like that. I'm gonna take this reel off. This is the Kush. And I'm gonna, I just wanna, I got to. I gotta put it on this uh, six nine, just to see. Denali, super quick shipping. Super quick, I just wanna feel it. This feels so good. I'm gonna have to go outside and just kinda of cast it around. I'm gonna I'm line, I'm gonna I'm spool this rod up, tie this jig on. I'm gonna go outside and cast it like an idiot in the, in the backyard. Don't say you've never done it. Stand by. Holy moly, does this rod feel good. Like this rod feels really good. Daggone, I wish I had it before I went out today. Cause I super really wanna throw this. 
so light. It's like this reel was made for this rod. Small profile reel. I'm going to do a review on this reel too. So just stand by, set tight, hold on to your trousers. This reel, small, compact. I think it holds like 110 yards, a 12 pound test, something like that. It's not for a, I did take it out on the A-Rig, which no. Big swim baits, no. Jigs, top water, dock skipping jigs, stuff like that. Yes, definitely. But dude, this rod just, Gosh, are you an idiot like me and just stand out in your backyard and cast cars going by? They're like, what's he doing? It's like, I'm fishing, fool. Which I'm a big fan of the Covert series anyway. The Coverts and the Lithiums are probably my favorite um, rods that Denali make. And the, of course, the Prime, uh, the crappy rods. This rod, you know, it's got the wind grips on it. It's got a short handle. It's just, it's like a real, it's like you can almost fence with it. <laughs> But it just feels good. It's got good components and it looks good. It's got the matte finish with the white and the red and the the glowy stuff, the shiny text on it. It's just a good looking ride and it feels good. God, it's super light. I mean, look at this. I'm doing my own slow mo. Watch out. Can I get this? Might be my thumbnail right here. That's pretty much it for today. Next will be a reel. Then I'll have to go on the road for a while because, you know, I'll be with Skeet. I, I got some other things coming up um, later on in the year, maybe. Um, I don't know if you see like this. It says Sunline. That says AFCO. But, yeah, be on the lookout for another, for a review on this reel. It's the Kush, the, the Lose Kush, the Custom Speed Spool. Both of them together, the Kush and the 6'9 medium heavy. Thanks for watching. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Catch up with me on the Bass Pro Tour. If you're ever out there, come say hi or whatever. So uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the flip flop. I'm up to Something. invisible grounds. Don't know when to stop. Returning, it's not the way for me.